I think the beauty of using marine debris and ocean trash to create artwork is that you can tell stories in a really visual way, where instead of depressing statistics, you can get people inspired to make change in their own life, plastics particularly. So single-use plastics, we'll use them for 10 seconds in the last 500 years. So I want people to think about our environmental behaviors and how we can improve them. I work with trash collected from the ocean to tell stories about how to protect it. So right now I've got a ton of different projects going on. I've made some giant wave sculptures um, and out of old fishing gear and, and trash collected off the beaches of Hawaii. I also made a large whale tail sculpture that was at San Francisco airport. I made from material out of uh, the landfill in San Francisco. This is the golf ball wave behind me. It's basically a 30 foot long, eight foot tall barreling wave covered about 20,000 golf balls collected out of the ocean by a local high school student. If you were to go diving or snorkeling in the kelp forest that surround Pope Beach, it is hard not to notice the thousands of golf balls that scatter the seafloor. Our good friend Alex Rubber decided to do something about this. So she picked up 50,000 golf balls out of the water off of Pebble Beach. The general issue of, of plastic pollution that are in our hands right now is very significant for our planet's health. It's something that our planet is facing around the world. It's not a local issue, this is a global problem. This issue of plastic pollution is not gonna go away until everyone kinda comes together and starts to work towards it. We're lucky to live in the uh, Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. It's a really well-managed and beautiful piece of ocean that is spectacular. And so part of my role as an artist is to communicate uh, why we need to protect that important habitat. My goal is to educate the population we have here about the beauty of our ocean and the need to protect it. Here in the Bay Area, we have a responsibility because we have one of the best managed pieces of ocean in the world. And we need to keep leading into the future, showing people around the world what sustainable ocean management looks like. The beauty of art is that it can draw attention to those issues and inspire people to make change.